Okay, super quick note. I was super excited to get started, and I got started, and I played the whole first day, and realized I forgot to choose the forest farm. I started on the regular farm. I thought I was on the forest farm just because I'd been planning to, but I pretty much started that whole first day um, actually on the regular farm, the original farm. <laughs> so I'm just going to go on my own and start the forest farm, and then if there's anything that happens that you need to know, I guess I'll, I'll clip it and show you later. Sorry. So as you're watching this, if I refer to the forest farm, I'm not on the forest farm. I'm on the regular farm. Okay, bye. Hello, my friends. It's time. It's time. What a morning I've had waiting for this update. You wouldn't think I'd be this excited since I just started the game, but I'm very excited. So I watched somebody start. Um, so I've seen a couple things that are different. If you are new, this, this is different. There's a new farm, Meadowlands Farm. I considered starting one of those and naming it Meadowlands. That would have been fun, <laughs> right? That'd be fun. Um, I, I also know that there are some new pets. So here's what we're going to do. I am using my controller, so this is going to be a little slow, this part, but um, the rest of it, oops, I got to make that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, what was that? Okay. <laughs> So that was me pushing in the right joystick, which capitalizes on um, Animal Crossing. And it did capitalize, but it also changed to a different keyboard. So apparently, oops, wrong one. This one. So we're going to go with Mom, because one of the characters is named Robin. And I have put a lot of thought into this. According to my research, I can have um, 12... Oops, I did it again. I'm just going to do it this way. 12 characters in here. So counting spaces, the one I want to do is 12. So I hope that's true. 100. A. C. R. E. 100 acre. Yay. 100 acre farm. Like the 100 acre woods. Very exciting. Is it gonna be Winnie the Pooh themed? No, but it's a cute name. My favorite thing, I always go with cookies. Is this true? No, my grandbaby is my favorite thing, but you know, probably not gonna put him in here. That I don't know how this gets used in the game and I don't wanna take any chances. Cookies, okay. Now, there. I didn't play this enough to know what all of these pets were. But the guy I was watching said that this one and this one are new. This one would be fun to play and name it Kiki, but I'm not going to play that one. Um, I'm going to play this one because um, my mom loved the gray ones and my grandma loved the gray ones and I like the gray ones in real life. So I last time just went with the default outfit and you know what? I'm doing it again. And the the default. Ooh, I hate that. <laughs> okay, the oh come on. Can I re <laughs> restore the default? Here's the problem. I'm colorblind, and so sliders are horrible for me. Maybe I'll just go with slightly green eyes. I can't actually see it, so I'm not 100% sure. Go over here. <laughs> what everything is now. Let me just tell you, I am going to skip the intro, partly because I don't want this video to be super, super long, and partly because I cried when I watched the intro. So what happens is you start at your job at Joja Mart International Headquarters or something, I don't know. But you're in your cubicle with everybody else and you're miserable. Oh, that is that where you start? No, you don't start there. You, it starts when you see your grandpa and he's writing a letter. Is that what happens? I can't remember which one comes first, but you get you get this letter. I think that I think it starts with him writing the letter and then you get it when you're struggling because it says, here's the information. I was I was sad in my life and I needed a change and then I went to a farm and it was my place. And if you're reading this, then you must need a change too. So I left you the farm. Go to the farm. So that's what happened, and I can't watch it because it makes me cry. But, so I skipped that. 
So is there anything else on this screen? Um, I was just going to say that since I'm so new to it, there were a lot of things that I didn't understand the first time I started and I'll try to point those out so that if you're new, you'll know them before I did. <laughs> It's wonderful and this is an amazing game and I'm so excited to play it and when I when I found out that it was just one guy who made it that was pretty impressive but um, when I found out that he did the music too that was incredible oh look I'm able to do that okay so um, the time up there in the corner can you see how the six o'clock is flashing that means it's paused and that's very important because it changes very quickly. Each day is only about 13 minutes, like real time, it's about 13 minutes, and it goes in increments of 10. So if you're not doing something, then you wanna open your inventory. On my controller, that's X, but I think I remapped it, so it might be Y. I don't know, just try it, figure it out, <laughs> what it is on yours. But you wanna open your, you wanna open your inventory or be in a dialogue or something, if that, clock is flashing then time is paused and these games go so quickly and um, it's it's difficult up there it has the date it says Monday the first because there aren't months there are seasons so they all have 28 days so that'll say um, Tuesday the second and whatever and it goes to 28 and then it starts over below that on the left that's your weather and on the right is your season. It's got the pink flower, which means it's spring. I think there's a boat in the summer, and I don't remember the other two. But and then you've got your little your little clock thing on the left that shows the day progressing. Below that it says 500. I start with 500 gold. Um, the ex exclamation point. Those are my tasks. Can I do anything with this right now? Okay, can't go over there. Um, below that, those are zoom buttons, so I can zoom out a little bit because I like to have my farm zoomed out. I had to turn those on in, this is where you have your options. So um, I think a couple of these changed, but I didn't know them well enough to know, so <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, controller placement tile indicator, <sighs> okay, so um, I, I don't like it to show the tool hit location. I tried it the first time and it was helpful, but then I tried without it and I really like it on my Switch, so I'm gonna try it on here. See if I can do it on here. Um, I don't know all of those things. I'm not gonna do all that, but <coughs> the music was quite loud, so I turned the music down a little bit. Um, I, hope it's, I hope it's not all the way down when we get into the game, um, but I, I couldn't hear everything else. I wonder if that's, I don't think that's default. I think that's what I had. Um, let's see, where is the zoom? Oh, so here's the zoom. I wanna go, I think I went, I don't need it smaller inside, but I like it smaller outside. I might change it outside. Anyway, zoom buttons, I had to turn that on, which means that I can adjust it as we go. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, seriously. Um, Okay, I can't, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. The, the reason I reacted is because I'm in bed and I didn't used to be able to hit my, um, my, what do you call it, inventory. I didn't used to be able to open that while I was still in bed. I had to get out of bed first. Um, I don't need to change anything else and the other things don't matter. Oh, here are two things I'm gonna tell you because we're in here. Uh, pockets, um, the, oh, day one of spring, year one. Okay, the other things, it does show me my current funds. Those, oops, I wanna go up here. This shows my skills. Now this apparently is new. Down at the bottom, that whole section is new and you can level up your farm. So, I don't know, we don't know what that is, but this is, as you do different things, you learn the skills and you those get stronger and different things happen at all your different levels. That's what this is. And then this part. <laughs> So the first time I played, as I met people, I was trying to come up with ways to remember their names. They're all in here, except you don't have all their names yet. Once you meet them, their name is in there. I don't need to know her name yet. I don't have to remember it anyway, because I haven't met her yet. But when I remember, when I meet her, this will say Evelyn, and this will say George, and anybody you haven't met, 
will have those question marks. Over here on the, oh, I can't go over to the side. All the way over to the right where there's a dialogue, where there's a little speech bubble, that means if it's, if it's got a check in it, an X in it, then that means you've talked to them that day. Because you can talk to them every day and it will increase your hearts. Those hearts are how, how much you guys are friends or how much they love you. That comes way later. And then the present has two boxes. And each time you give them a present, which also builds up your heart levels, um, each time that'll get a check. And you can only do two a week. So that's what that is all about. And the hearts obviously are there. If it says, if they say single, that means they're romanceable. So you can become their boyfriend or girlfriend and you can even marry some of them. You don't have to. I was, look, I didn't even want to play Stardew because of the whole romancing thing. And then I found out you don't have to. So that helps. <laughs> Will I want to later? Maybe someday. Oh no, but not yet. What I found out though is to romance, I mean, to, to marry them, you get all the way to the full hearts and then you give them a bouquet and then you can buy this amulet and you give them that and that's like the invitation to marry them. But what I heard the other day, what I just said yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, you can get everybody to full hearts and give everybody a bouquet, but you don't have to ask anybody to marry you. So that's all. That's what that is. Oh, I just want to go up there. Okay. The map. <laughs> so can I move that? Okay. So when I was playing the first time, 100 acre farm, isn't that adorable? Look how cute that is. Um, when I was learning before, I was like, I wish I had a map. Why don't I have a map? I did have a map. I just didn't know where it is, where it was. I don't think, I don't think I knew that I could highlight these. So here's a really important thing to know in this game. Um, the stores are not open all the time and they have very short hours. This is a general store. It's only open nine to five and it's closed on Wednesdays. So it, that's important to know. Pierre, Caroline, and Abigail live there. Pierre and Caroline are the parents and Abigail's their daughter. Um, that's the, the doctor's office and it closes at three, but over here is the saloon. And that's open till midnight, but I don't want to be there till midnight because you got to go to bed or bad things happen. So that's good to know. The other guy that I was watching this, oh, oh, I know what that is. That's the Adventurer's Guild or whatever. And it, it has question marks because you don't know what it is yet. So this is Jojo Mart. Don't join Jojo Mart. You'll get the chance to get a membership. Don't do it. You can, and it will take you on a completely different storyline, but then you will be sad because you joined in with the corporations and the farms are sad, and it, it's just sad. Don't do it. But the guy I was watching right above that, there's, I think it's a brown square. I think there are two brown squares. Might not be brown. I think they're brown. Apparently that's a different area. I don't know. I don't know what that is. He, it doesn't say what it is. You can't get to it on the map yet, apparently. So these are great. Important thing to know. There's a thing where you're supposed to go to the beach. So general store, this is the city square, right? The town square. Everything kind of navigates from there. To get to the beach, you go down and you go over. This is the mayor's house. And then you go down again. So there's a bridge right below the mayor's house. That's how you get to the beach. That's where you're going to find Willie when he sends you a message and says, Hey, come down here and talk to me. And that's how you get your fishing pole. So pull up your map. Sorry, there's Willie's shop. <laughs> pull up your map. Check things out. I have no idea. I'm going to have to compare this to my original map. The first time I did it, I did the, the normal farm, standard farm. I don't remember what it's called. So this is, this is a different farm type. And I don't know if this map is different at all, but that's what I know. Those are the important things I know about the map. That's me over there. That's where my farm is. Okay, so let's get up. We have a present, it's probably seeds. It is parsnip seeds. Okay, um, just so you know, I don't want to spoil too much about the new farm, but they didn't get seeds. They got hay because they start with chickens and they have a lot less farmland 
Um, so they didn't get seeds. They do. They did get seeds. Like somebody got seeds. They got carrot seeds on the beach. That they, they dug up in the worm spot with their hoe, and I will totally show you that. But um, I don't know if we'll get that or if they just got that because they didn't get the parsnip seeds. I don't know. So this right here is this is your like your recipes in Animal Crossing. These are the things you can craft. These are the ones I know how to craft right now. I don't have any of these supplies, obviously. This one is new. You start with these three paths as possibles. I went and bought one because I didn't know I had those. You can buy new recipes from Robin, who is the carpenter. Look at me being all cool. Um, these people used to label their chests so they knew what was in them. I'm eager to try this one instead because all you could do on those was put an image on them. The torch. One of the first things you should do when you can is put a torch by your house so you can find your way back to the house because when it gets dark, it gets dark and you might be searching and searching and searching. There are a couple of other places that I put torches, but that one is vital. My daughter taught me that and ooh, that was a huge deal. So I could find my way back to my house. The chest is something you're gonna wanna do quickly. This down here, oh, this is the equivalent of my pockets in Animal Crossing. I'm sorry I'm comparing everything to Animal Crossing, but that's what I play and that's what all my followers play or most of my followers play. So. Um, this is like your pockets and you only have that top row. So you only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I thought it was twelve. You only have twelve spots in your pockets and they'll fill up very quickly. But this chest, keep going. This is easier with the mouse, but the driving part is harder for me with the WASD keys. If you're not using a controller, I have a pro controller that, that I've connected up with Steam. If you're not using a pro controller or a controller, I don't know if there's other ways you can do it, then you'll be using a mouse to do all the, you know, navigating with this part, with your this thing. And you'll be using the WASD keys, the WASD keys, to drive around, to walk and stuff. So this is the chest. You need 50 wood, which you will probably get very quickly. You will want to place at least one chest rather quickly so you can put things in there that you need to get out of your pockets. Because otherwise, if you chop down a tree and it drops something like a pine cone, but your pockets are full, the pine cone's just gonna sit there on the ground. And if you leave it there too long, then it'll despawn and you won't get it. So you wanna have enough room in your pockets that you can get those things. If, if you chop it down and it says inventory full, which it'll say, then you can go put your things somewhere or do something with them and pick that up. If you're somewhere where you can't put them in a chest or something like that, then you can click on something down here and then go put it in this trash can right there. And then it's gone, it's in the trash, but then you have a space. So what else is up here? Okay, that's a gate and that's a fence. I have not used those um, on my island yet because I didn't know what I was doing. A campfire, which I also haven't used yet. All of those little things down at the bottom, that's what they need two wood, stone wood fiber. Um, okay, so let's go look up here. This is what animals you have, I guess? I, I have not used that. Um, special powers, I think these were in there, but they were under a different category, I don't know. And then collections, this is something that when people are playing 100%, playing to perfection, I think they call it in this game, um, you want to fill all these up. So these, this means you've had all of those things. You've caught all these fish and you've uh, found all these artifacts. You dig things up and then you give them to Gunther at the museum and things like this. So that's what these are. And then we already looked at, these are the options and, uh, why, okay, there we go. <laughs> and then when you're done, this is how you exit. You come here and you exit to the title screen. You know, that first one where we came in where you can choose new, load, whatever. Or to the desktop and it'll close the game. But there is not an option to save. Don't just exit. When you sleep at night, 
that saves your game. Sleeping is how it saves. So make sure you sleep before you exit if you've done things that you want to save. Also though, if I go to sleep at two o'clock in the afternoon to save it, then when I come back, it's gonna be on the next day. It doesn't matter what time I go to bed. Once I've slept, it's gonna be the next day. So let's, I think we did everything in there. Okay, so let's. first thing you need to do is you need to check the TV. Now look, the time is flashing again because I have a dialog box open. Make sure you check that. The reason that you check the TV is you want the weather report first. It says it's gonna be clear and sunny all day. The reason you wanna know that is because with the short, short days, it helps if you plan what you're gonna do the next day. And if it's gonna be raining the next day, then I don't have to water my crops so I can know that I have other things I can do. Because you have to water your crops every day or they won't grow. Okay, I don't believe that they die until the next season, but they won't progress. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. This is kind of like Katrina. It's just your your luck for the day. If you're if they're happy and you have really great luck, it's a good time to go to the mines, I hear. It, it will affect other luck, but you don't want to be in the mines when your luck is bad, I don't think. I don't go when my luck is bad because my daughter told me not to. I haven't actually tried it. So I don't actually know. Um, and then living off the land. This is just tips. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. So when you forage, you'll find like vegetables, like wild onions and parsnips. You don't find parsnips, uh, horseradish, wild horseradish and things like that. And you can sell them and get money for them but you can also use them for other things so don't just get right to the selling because you know what that's like in animal crossing you sell it all and then you need it okay close that and then open i don't know i guess on the keyboard you hit the exclamation point or you oh you probably just click on it with your mouse but um on mine i hit the minus button so it these will all show up there and you know it says new because it's new open it up um, it just tells you what to do and tells you down at the bottom. So it gives you the instructions and tells you at the bottom what you got to do. If you want to become a farmer, have to start with the basics. So I will cultivate and plant a parsnip, a parsnip, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. So I'll plant that. I think they take four days and then I'll harvest it and that'll clear this. There is no um, order, like I can do them in whatever order. You may have seen I have two. <clears throat> some of them um, don't have an expiration, but some of them, like it says, hey, can you bring me a hot pepper? Then it might say you have two days to do it. So don't put it off because the other thing is not only do businesses close in weird hours, but people are available in weird hours. Sometimes you have something for somebody and you can't find them. So you know, pay attention to whether it says you have time or not. Okay, uh, this one is to meet all 28 people. All you have to do is meet them and then this will go up and you'll get, um, you'll get their name on your thing. Okay, we're gonna go outside. So this, um, look, <laughs> this is a new farm. I have a different farm layout than um than i've had before i'm just looking a little bit i don't want to look too much because you know running out of time this right here let me tell you what i learned you can put water in your in your pet's bowl i don't have a pet yet but from what i heard that will stay full until i have a pet now that i've filled it up i am going to have that cat that i chose and um so i'm going to pause this for just a second while i'm talking because you always want to pause it if you're not doing something um I'll have that cat. I can fill up their bowl once a day. Um, if it's raining, I can't because it's already full. But you do get some bonus points for filling up their bowl. What I learned was once you have full friendship with your pet and it says so-and-so loves you, then you won't lose any friendship. So even if you quit petting them or watering them, they still love you forever. And my cat has this little pond down there in the lower right. And I've seen my pet 
drink out of that. So if you miss it one day, your pet's not going to die. <laughs> you'll just you'll just lose um, you'll just lose the opportunity to build it up. Okay, so if I'm in here, I if I want the order to be different, I can click on it and move it. And if I like put it here, then I'll be holding the other one, right? Because you might want them in a different order. That's helpful to know. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. So it's down at the bottom. I scroll to choose and I'm going to start with the scythe because these are weed things. I don't even know what they're called, but they give off fiber sometimes and you can't walk through them. That was a little tree sapling, I think, that I just cut down, but that's okay. <laughs> um, you can't walk through them. They're not important in the way that some things are and you can clear them with your scythe down in that lower right hand let's see okay down in that lower right hand there's a green bar with an e above it that's my energy that's all i can do during the day and all of my tools every time i use a tool that's going to go down so i only have so much early on you have less um i try to keep an eye on that. I have it in the past and bad things happen if you run out of energy, just like bad things happen if you don't go to bed in time. But your scythe does not use energy. So if I if I'm running out of energy, then frequently I'll just I'll just go clear a bunch of stuff. But here's the thing. So in order for in order to have the opportunity to plant, I have to have clear spot. I have to get rid of the rocks and the trees and the weed things but um, I have to water them every day everything I plant so I, I learned to plant them close to my house that's not the only important thing because as you plant see down here I mean as you water see how that also has it has a blue line that's already started to go down that blue all blue meant it was full and when I poured into the cat's bowl that started to go down so um, once it goes down, you can't water anything and you can just take it over here. I'm going to show you. You can just take it over here to your pond and like you're using it, you just tip it like that and now it's full again. So that's important to know. So mo you don't want to clear all, this is grass and you don't want to clear all the grass because um, your animals can eat it later and you don't have to buy it. But I can't plant there so I need to, I need to, um, I need to clear some of it. That's my pick, which is what you have to use for rocks. I actually, if I had my way, um, oh, so that's the thing. If you're not one of these, if you haven't played these kinds of games, I don't know if you saw that, but see how it dropped a rock? See, oops. Okay, see how it left a rock behind? I harvested that and um, I walked away from it. In order to pick it up, you just walk past it and it'll pick it up. It'll pick it up. Um, I re if I had my way and had enough energy, I would I would just sit and clear my whole farm. Except not today, I guess, because this is a new kind of farm. Now look, we've only been talking for a few minutes and it's 9.30. We woke up at 6 and now it's 9.30 in the morning. I, in theory, according to the way a lot of people play, I should have gone to the town by now and started talking to people and... Um, I don't know, checked the bulletin board. I'll probably still do that in a minute, but um, the one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it slowly. I'm not in a rush. So maybe one day all I do is um, plant and chop wood and harvest. I mean forage, I do that actually a lot. So axe, hoe, watering can, pickaxe, scythe, those are my parsnip seeds. This is the fiber that came from those weed things and those are the stones. So do I have enough room? No, I'm going to, I'm just going to um, clear just a little bit more. Now I have, oops, I missed. I have 15 parsnip seeds. You have to hoe first before you can plant them. Let's go right there. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, my aim is a little different. One, two, three, four, five, and one, oops, two, three, four, five. Now, if I, if I chopped somewhere that I didn't want it to be, I can leave it and it'll go away eventually, or you can hit it with your pickaxe, but it is gonna count as a as a as a hit on your whatever 
So um, it shows where it's going to go. You have to highlight it and then hit the use it button. And it, it will shift around a little bit, but you know, you just kind of want and if I'm on that red and I hit it, it won't plant. So it's not a huge deal because it's not hoed. And um, the one thing I never did in the other one and I can't do yet is I never used um, the fertilizer, which would have done things to help, but you have to put that in before you plant it. And I don't have any fertilizer yet, so. Okay, we're gonna do the rest of this. How much, oh, I have three pieces of wood and a piece of clay. Oh, I got the clay when I um, hoed. Okay, so let's refill this and soon I will, um, when I come back, I'll hit some more trees and get some more wood. It takes 50 wood to make a chest. So I do want to get a chest and empty, um, empty what I can out of my pockets. Mostly just the, um, the resources. Over here, this is the, um, okay, let's see, yeah. Okay, so since I opened um, my, my inventory, it made the clock flash again. This is like the box in front of Nooks. You can sell it here, and tomorrow you will have the money. However, there is no penalty for selling it here. When you sell it in the store, you're gonna get the same price that if you sold it here, it will just take the next day. But sometimes you, you just need to sell things and you can't get to the store when it's open or whatever. So you do that. Okay, so that's my house. I have to come back here when I go to sleep. The, um, the day ends at two. So you really should go in your house by one and get into bed. It, at midnight, there will be a little thing down in the lower left corner that says it's getting late and your character will get little Z's above their head that says, oh, you got to go to bed. That's at midnight. So most places that you are, you can get back home in that amount of time, but not all of them. So pay attention to the clock. Make sure you're close to your house. So it's noon now. It's noon. I got a whole lot of nothing done, but that's okay because it was fun. So this is how you get to the town. This is my, oh, there's one right there. So let's pull this open. Oops, not, I go right here. Now my my bar has gone up to the top because I'm close to the bottom. So I got the hose. See this right here where there are those three little things are moving? Those are worms. And that means there's something in there for me to find. So, oh, just clay. Sometimes it's an artifact. Sometimes it's a book. This is the bus we came in on. You can't actually get on the bus yet. Did you see that bunny? You can't do anything with the bunnies. At least I can't yet, early in the game. So go across. I went up there because sometimes you can forage. You can find flowers and things to pick. Oh, look, it's, what's his name? Um, Harvey. So <laughs> this is the doctor. You know how I said there are romanceable characters? He's a romanceable character and he's the one that I've chosen to romance. And by romance, I just mean, I'm going to make him as good a friend as it can be because there's a festival that comes up this month where it's got dancing and you can only dance with somebody that you have four hearts with. And when I did it, I didn't have anybody that I had four hearts with, so I couldn't dance with anybody. And then I tried really hard on the second time through and I still didn't have four hearts. So I don't know if you can actually get to four hearts with somebody before the dance, but I'm going to try and, and get good friends with him because... I want somebody to dance with. Getting good friends with them has different effects. Like um, Caroline, when you get to two hearts, um, she'll take you into her sunroom and she'll teach you how to do like a tea plant. And they, they have different things that you can get from them, from them. I don't care about that. The reason I chose Harvey is because he's the one that looks like a grown up. Let me show you. Um, so <laughs> these are the people. There's Harvey and there, see Lewis, he looks like a grown up, but he's, he's not romanceable and neither is Robin. So I, I don't want to romance a girl. Young. Those are all young too. Um, let's see, where are they? That Gus, he's the saloon owner. He's the one I would have romanced, but he's not romanceable. This is Elliot. He looks like Fabio. Um, and these guys, <laughs> that guy, and where's the other one? This guy, so these young ones, wait. 
I don't know who that is. Who is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 Hmm, who is that? I don't know, but they're romanceable. Have to find out. Okay, anyway, I chose Harvey because he's a grown up. Yeah, he's kind of a nerd, but so am I, so it's okay. Nice to meet you, Harvey. I'll start gifting you tomorrow. This is the thing. Those kind of look like the three worms, but they're not. See how they're not wiggling? Okay, so here is the, um, here's the clinic. And you push the, well, I push the A button, it might be the B button, to go in. You can go through the doors by doing the same thing. There's nobody in here, so I can't talk to anybody. But sometimes that's where I find Harvey. Right here you have this calendar. Let's see. Yep, our time's flashing. This is spring. That's all that spring is. It's just those 28 days. Monday through Sunday, 28 days. If their picture is on it, that means it's their birthday. This one, that's the flower dance. That's where you get to dance with people. And this one is the egg festival, which you want to save up your gold for that because you can buy strawberry seeds and they're very important. Well, they're not very important, but they're good money makers, really good money makers. This one's new. Bookseller. I wonder if we're going to have like a book vendor who comes. I don't know. That's new. These are marked. They don't say what they are. The salmon berry season, when you can get salmon berries on the bushes, are the 15th to the 18th, but I don't know. I don't know what those are. So check the calendar all the time. At one point, at some point you can, um, you can buy a calendar that you keep in your house so you can check it. Also, there is an amazing wiki that everybody uses to find out like what gifts they like because you got to give them the right gifts for their birthday or you know whenever to make them happy and improve your friendship but um, I actually printed out the calendar and I wrote down everybody's birthdays so I can track it do I always get their birthdays get them no sometimes I forget to look and sometimes I have a gift and I can't find them the whole dang day whatever so that's important and then this right here this is where sometimes there's a task that you can take. And usually if you accept the task, then there's a reward. Like um, I return somebody's ax and I get 250 gold or something. So it's worth doing these if you can. Okay, um, let's go into the store. I don't really have a lot of time for this. Okay, that's Caroline. She's his wife. And she's the one I want a friendship because of the, the tea leaves. I think I have to go out, though. Can I push my way past? Let's see. Oh, I can. So some, I didn't know I could do that. Um, with your pet, you can, you can push until they start to shake and go through them. Apparently, you can with people, too. My daughter said if you stand right in front of them, some of them will get very mad if you don't move. So usually I just get out of their way. So that was Caroline, and this is Leah. Hi, Leah. She's so cute. And if you, in order to talk to him, see, this is how I shop, but if I want to talk to him, I got to come behind here. So that counts as talking. So let's, okay. So he has seeds to sell and he'll buy stuff. So let's go look up here. So this says I've talked to Harvey. See the checkbox? Talk to Harvey, Caroline, Leah, Pierre. So that's how you use that. Is there anybody else? So this, I used to think, when I first started, I thought that was stairs. That's actually like a Wayne's coating, you know, just the bottom of the thing. You can go in through the door. This is where their house is, so it's not going to let me go in there where her room is. Gosh, this is like a community room where they do yoga. This is a church that some people come to on Sundays. This is Caroline's kitchen. You can go in there most of the time. And this is her sunroom in the back where you can sometimes go. Um, but not yet because we're not friends yet. So these are chairs um, Yeah, you can't sit on them. They sit on them. I can't sit on them Anyway, so let's go look at something else What else do we need to see? Um, oh, there's a daffodil So you go there and you push the little a button and you pick it up. That's a wild foraging item 
You will find them usually outside of the city. How much time do we have? Gosh, it's three o'clock already. Okay, that's the community center. You'll learn about that on day five and that becomes one of your big quests. I'm actually running around a lot more than I usually do. Usually I go a lot more slowly, but I want to show you many things. This is Demetrius. He's Robin's husband and he's a scientist. Um, so yeah, his daughter's Maru and he thought I was trying to marry her and I wasn't. I was just talking to her because I was supposed to. There's me. It's not really me. That's Robin. But she's the town carpenter. Oh, I didn't buy seeds. <laughs> I was going to buy seeds from Pierre. Guess I'm going to buy them tomorrow and be a little behind. That's fine. Um, she's the carpenter and when you're ready to upgrade, uh, let's just talk to her and I'll show you. Okay, so let's say I'm going to shop. Um, I can buy those. That would be really expensive. That's a bad reason. Big chest. Let's see. A big chest can store twice as much. Hmm. I didn't know. So I can buy the recipe, but then I'd still have to make it, which is wood and copper bar. I didn't know she had recipes until just recently. So I just knew I could buy things from her. But if you go down here, there are some other recipes that are important. These, let's see. These right here that say brazier, I don't, I don't know that word. It's not brazier, it's brazier. But those are lights. Those are like, um, like uh, not a torch, but like a, a standing vase of fire kind of thing. So those are worth it because um, it gets really dark and when you develop your farm more, you'll want more. But here, these are a couple of other path recipes that you can get. But remember, you have those three that you got already. Okay, let's go back. Oops. Um, upgrade your house when you're ready to do that. Super expensive. You have 450 wood and 10,000 gold. And this is what you'll do. So one of the first challenges you'll get will be to build a coop. And you have to have a coop in order to have chickens. Don't build the coop yet. First, where is it? Come on here. Okay. First, you want to build a silo. So build a silo first. You don't have to wait till you get the challenge to build it. You can build the coop, of course, but you have to feed your animals and the silo is where you store the hay. When you cut down your, um, your grass, it has a chance of going into the silo and becoming hay. Otherwise, it's more complicated and more expensive to feed your chickens. So it's just worth it to get a silo before you get the coop. You don't have to. That's the advice my daughter gave me and it's been fabulous. Over on the right, you can see it says two days. It takes two days to build. So for those two days that she's building it, you can't go in here and buy anything for her because she's on your farm working on those two days. And then down there, those are the things that I have to do, I have to have to build it. So I have to pay her a hundred gold and she'll take the stone, the clay and the copper bars to do it. I have to have all that. Okay, but you get to choose where it goes. That's all I want to do there. Let's go up here and talk to Sebastian. Yep, I just moved in. Is there anybody else in there? All the other rooms are empty, so. Okay, so I have now met him as well. Let's go meet Linus. Okay, so over here, there's uh, Demetrius down there. I'm watching for things to forage kind of off on the side like that daffodil. And I'm trying to watch for worms, although I think I missed some of them. Here's Linus. Oops. Linus is, is the little homeless guy. I guess he's not homeless because he has a tent. Anyway, Linus is this guy who lives out there and um, he, sometimes he says very sad things. Are you gonna Are you gonna steal my stuff? Did you come here to mock me? Things like that. It's very sad. People must not be nice to him. But apparently when you give gifts, he likes almost everything. So he's really easy to be friends, um, but he's kind of out here. So you don't always see him and you might have to go out of your way just a little bit to become his friend. But I'm definitely trying to be his friend and I'm nice to him. If you go this way, I'm not gonna go that way, but if you go this way, it's the back secret way to your, to your farm. It's very fast and it's very helpful because otherwise you gotta go all the way through your town to get there. Okay, so let's go down here. And we're gonna go down just a little bit more. We're not gonna go down here. You go down here and up there and there's a mine you can't get to and some beach stuff, but really can't do much over there yet. So let's go down here. 
you can follow these paths and they'll take you pretty much everywhere. There's that little fountain and that bench up there at the top. Frequently Haley is there. On that wiki page you can look up everybody's schedule and it will say this, I think I talked to her already, right? Um, it'll say, oops, <laughs> seriously, you just gotta get close enough and then hit the button. Here's the thing that I do and I gotta stop doing this. One of the reason reasons people like this game so much is because of the storyline and people have wonderful stories and they talk to you and you get to learn a lot about them and everything. Sometimes I speed through the dialogue because I, in my heart I get, oh, I'm in a hurry, I'm going to run out of time, the day is going to be over. But when I'm talking to them, the time is paused. So you can take a minute, take your time, talk to them. It's worth it. They have some great stories. The other thing is sometimes they ask you a question and if you just clicky click your way through, you might give them a bad answer. I did that yesterday and I was very embarrassed and you can't go back. So just, you know, take your time. So there's the saloon. We'll go there in just a second. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is Sam, I think. Sam, Sam, wait. Okay, met Sam. And then, um, did I meet you already? I think I might have, oops. Yes, if, if you go right up to them and you hit the button to talk and they don't talk to you, that's because you already talked to them. Okay, that's Maru. Yes, that's Demetrius and Robin's daughter. This is Penny. A lot of people don't like Penny because I don't remember. There's a connection with Joe Jamart, but I don't remember what it is. <clears throat> so that's Penny. She tutors the kids. Go up here. <laughs> oh, he's going inside. Can I get to him before he goes inside? That's Shane. He's very cranky. He doesn't want to talk to you, but... He frequently stands over in the corner at the saloon. Okay, let's talk to Alex. He's a jock, and I don't know if it's changed yet, because, you know, this is new. But um, he's a little, a little misogynistic. Like, he goes, oh, I, I'm so glad I have somebody near, new here who wants to play catch. Oh, wait, you're a girl. You don't want to play catch. But if you're a guy, he'll play catch with you. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'll go to the saloon later. Let's go in here. This is George. He's very cranky. Irritating enough to meet these new people, huh? Yeah, it's very irritating. Okay, buzz off. I will. This is Evelyn. She's a sweetie. Thank you, Evelyn. I won't call you granny, but thanks. And um, one time, so you can, you can look in the trash can, but then, yeah, people are like, gross. But if they're not around, then you can look in the trash can. And I got cookies out of her trash can. <laughs> Uh, nope, Pam's not in there. You know why? Because Pam's in the bar. Pam likes the bar. I don't, I'm not going to go visit anybody else yet. That's that's the mayor. Um, this is, that's the museum. And that is the blacksmith. But they're going to be closed, so I can't go talk to people there. I really need to go to the saloon, but first I want to go to the beach. So mayor's house right there, beach right here. This is probably all the areas I'm going to go to. We'll see. So on the beach, frequently you find those worms as well. This is a forageable. So I found a cockle, but look, I, my inventory is almost full. So that's a problem. This is, um, this is a broken bridge. Now, it says with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. So you'll harvest 300 pieces of wood and then come back here and it'll say that and then you fix it. This is one of the first things I like to do. Um, I can get access to this other beach where I can get coral and things like that, but mostly it just bugs me <laughs> that it's not fixed. That house right there on the left, that's Elliot, the guy who looks like Fabio. And um, yeah, you can't go see him yet anyway, so I'm not even gonna try. This is, this is the pier. You'll get a note from Willie that says, hey, come talk to me, but you got to do it before five. And he'll be right there at, and he'll talk to you. But that's his shack where you can buy things and it's getting dark. Can you see it's getting dark? So we're going to go to the saloon because most of the people are going to be in the saloon. So let's go see. Who, I mean, the kids aren't going to be in the saloon and we haven't talked to them. There are a couple of kids. Oh, look, there's, there's uh, Clint, the blacksmith. Hi, Clint. Oops, sorry. Okay, go ahead, go in. You go in so I can go in. I'm done with you. <laughs> okay, so this is Pam. We didn't talk to her yet. Hi, Pam. She's She likes the bar <laughs> a lot. Um, there's Emily. Thank you. There's Gus. 
hi Gus, good to talk to you. And there's Shane next to the fire standing in the corner and if I talk to him he'll get mad at me. Um, sometimes there are people over here but not right now. So let's just really quickly look at who we haven't talked to. I won't go hunt them down now but let's see. Oh we got a lot of them. So we have not talked to Haley or who's this one? Um, I can't remember her name all of a sudden. I don't know. This is um, Vincent and Abigail is Caroline and what's his name? Pierre's daughter. So she's usually at the store but she wasn't today. She seems like an older daughter. That's Fabio. His name's not Fabio. His name's Elliot but he looks like Fabio. That's the wizard. This is Marnie and that's Jasmine. This is Willie the fisherman. So that's how many have we not talked to? One, two, three, four, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Where'd the other guy go? Did I talk to the other guy? The one with the blue? I was pretty sure there that no. There was another guy here. Why am I not seeing him? Okay, well, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. That's very interesting. Huh. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go the back way really quickly. Oops. This back way. There's a bottom back way and a top back way. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go... There, that's the um, cemetery and this is where the sewer comes in. You'll, you'll deal with that later. See if there's anything in there. Nothing there. Since there's nobody here and those are people's houses. and You'll have to look that up because I can't do that right now. Okay. Um, oh look, the cows are going to sleep. If you go down, that's the farm. This is um, Marnie's farm where you do farm stuff. And this is, uh, what is her name? Let's see if it says on here. Um, that's Marnie's ranch. Leah. No, we met Leah. So who's the person I didn't meet? Jody. That's who it was. Jody Kent, Sam, Emily Haley, the mayor. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's a house that has the guy, um, the guy that was in blue. I want to know where he was. Anyway, if you go down here, I'm not going to do it all right now. But if you go down here, then you can go through here and it takes you over to the cinder sap forest where you can find um, cool things to forage. And over there, I think it's down below. I think I need to go lower. Yeah, over here is where the wizard's tower is. That's how you get to the wizard's tower. You gotta go down and then go up there. You, you won't be able to see him for a while. But this is the back way, and you come past, oops, past the farm. There are some of those um, weed things there, which is why I can't. So you go past the farm right there, and then you go up. Uh-oh, <laughs> I just realized this. You go up to your farm, which is completely packed. I don't know how I'm going to get through. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to, uh, maybe, maybe I can get through without chopping stuff. Um, anyway, it's really packed. It's tough to navigate at first. Can't go that way. Nope, I'm gonna have to hit something. Uh, okay, and then this. Do I? Can I get there in time? My goodness, this wasn't planning. Of course, I don't know this farm, you know, so there's that. Oh, you gotta use the axe to chop the wood and the pick to crack those rocks. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, all the way back up to my house. It's a long way from the bottom of your farm to the top of your farm. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, okay, we're almost there. Okay, right there. There's my farm. Okay, so probably, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to chop some trees before I go to bed. It's 1140, so she'll say she's tired um, in... 20 minutes, but I still have plenty of energy. So I'm already back at my farm. I don't have far to go. I'm not going to lose a lot of time by just doing some more things. So I hate to go to bed when I still have energy left. <laughs> that feels very true to real life, but I never have energy left. So um, I'm going to go, I'm going to chop some wood, chop some trees. So let's start with this one. Yes, it's cute. Oops. I got to actually get in front of it. 
Okay, if you chop it 10 times, you'll chop it down. If you chop it 15 times, see how it says getting late in the corner? Chop it 15 times, then you'll you'll get rid of the stump and you'll get a little bit extra. I just held the um, held the button down and it kept doing them. My goodness, maybe I do want that locator on. But, um, oh, the little ones take five. Okay, oh, I don't have... I don't have room in my pockets. I have 27 wood. So let's see if I can get enough stuff to make a chest. Oops. Before I go to bed. That'd be great. I'm not going to get enough. <laughs> I don't think so because, oops, because it's almost one. Four, five, six, seven. If I do it by hand, did you see it? The one o'clock was shaking. If I did it manually instead of just letting it, um, oh my goodness, I can't get those other things. There we go. Instead of just doing that, I am one tree chop short. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just got to go to bed. I didn't finish. I got to go to bed because it's 1.30. So then you go, you get in your bed. It says, do you want to go to sleep? Did it freeze? Did my clock freeze? My clock's not, fr not flashing. I'm just going to wait a second and see if it changes. I think it's probably frozen because of the dialogue, even though it's not flashing. So let me just tell you really quickly. If you pass out, because if you get, if it gets to two and you're not in bed, if, if you're not sleeping yet, it gets to two, you will pass out. If you pass out outside of your house, then when you wake up, some of your stuff will be missing because it gets stolen and some of your gold will be missing. Um, you'll find out that um, Harvey, the doctor, had to take care of you, so you had to pay, for, pay him to do so. If you pass out inside your house, then um, your stuff doesn't get stolen. I don't think it costs anything, but you have an energy penalty. If you run out of energy, you'll pass out. That happened to me in the mines. I passed out because I didn't know what I was doing. And um, when I woke up, my sword was gone along with something else. And um, I lost a bunch of gold because of the fine. And if you use all your energy, then the next, then after you sleep, your energy bar doesn't completely refill. It only half refills. So it's really important to try and make it home um, and asleep before 2 o'clock. So I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, my progress has been saved. Okay, and look, my energy bar is only partly because I was in the red, because my energy got too low. Now, if your energy gets super low, oh, I have 61 wood now. I can build a chest. It shows the things that are not grayed out mean I have enough in my pocket to build it. I can build it. Um, but if you, if you get clear down in the red, if your energy gets too low, then after you sleep, your energy won't completely refill. Otherwise, when you sleep, your energy energy will completely refill. So I have all the things I need to do a bunch of things. This is a gift that I'll probably give to um, Caroline because I know she likes them. Harvey likes those as well, and he likes the dandelions. But this is what I learned yesterday. So early game, this part I knew, I don't have a lot of stuff, right? So I, I give gifts like parsnips when I grow them or flowers that I find, things I forage, because that's what I have. Um, but if you look at the list on the wiki, it's got a bunch of different recipes and all that stuff, but you can't cook until you upgrade your house and have a kitchen. So I can't make any of those things. And I was talking to my daughter and um, I was like, I can't give them a good gift. And she said, you can buy food from Gus at the saloon. And I was like, oh my gosh, it never occurred to me <laughs> that I could buy food and give it to my villagers. Not my village. Yeah, I guess they are villagers. Give it to my friends as gifts. So that's an option for you. I only have 500 gold. I'm going to use it to buy more seeds because that's the money making plan. But that's where it is. I'm ending that today. We slept. Our game has been saved. I'm going to call that a video. And I'm not going to do anything else because I don't want it to be... I don't want to not be able to save it and have to finish the day. I might do some on my own and then I'll come back and we'll do it again. Maybe not. Maybe I'm done on this for today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay.
Okay, well, I hope you had a good time. I hope that you learned something. If you haven't played Stardew before, I hope you feel like this was a good introduction. If you have questions that I can answer, let me know. If you have questions I can't answer, put them in the comments anyway and somebody else will answer them. Because so many people that play Animal Crossing play Stardew and have played it for years and know all the answers. Great place to put those questions is over in our Discord, Discord channel. I'm going to go right after this and I'm going to put a channel for Stardew, which I never thought I would do, but I'm going to do it. So thank you so much for being here. You're amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Hope you have a fabulous day and I hope you play something fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.